Thunder's arm dragon deck, which he obtained from North Academy. Of course, this is the upgraded version, including the arm dragon thunder monsters, which are a lot faster and a lot better than the original arm dragons. But I did include the two arm dragon bosses in this deck just to make it a bit more Manjome and make it, you know, they actually really do help quite a lot. So, this is Manjome's arm dragon thunder deck. If you want to see this deck in action, then do click the card above, which will be in one of these corners. I don't know which way my face cam is going. It'll be in one of these corners, and you can check out the previous video in which I decimated meta decks with this deck. Let's get right into it. So starting off, we have our Arm Dragon Thunder engine. We run three copies of Arm Dragon Thunder level three, three copies of a level five, and three copies of level seven. If you don't know how these guys work, each of them have the effect that when they're on the field, you can send one monster from your hand to the graveyard, tribute them on the field, and then summon the next level up, or just an arm dragon monster that is, um, you know, the next level up or lower. So, <laughs> um, so arm dragon thunder level three summons a level five or lower arm dragon. Level five summons a level seven or lower arm dragon, and level seven summons a level ten or lower armed dragon monster. This. Uh, level 5 and level 7 can also be used to summon Pile Arm Dragon, which is important as well. The second effect of all the Arm Dragon Thunder monsters is that when they are sent to the graveyard to activate the effect of an Arm Dragon monster, you can then add something from your deck to your hand. So level 3, when sent to the graveyard, um, sorry, to activate a Dragon Monster's effect, not an Arm Dragon, to activate a Dragon Monster's effect, with level 3 you can draw one card, with level 5 you can add a level 5 or higher Wind Dragon Monster from your deck to your hand, and with level 7 you can add one Armed Dragon card from your deck to your hand. That's if they get sent by an Armed Dragon's effect, so it doesn't count when you tribute them for their, you know, to summon the next level, but it does count if you send them from the hand to the graveyard to bring out the next level for another one. It also counts if you send them to the graveyard with Pile Arms effect, which we'll get into later. So, three copies of level 3 to 7, then we have one copy of Armed Dragon Thunder level 10. This card is absolutely just bonkers. This card is really cool, obviously taking the Manjome Thunder pose is very very, very epic and has an effect for, you know, Manjome. It's a Manjome based effect. It's Ju Hyuk Sen Man. Depending on how many attack it has, it gains the following effect. So one or more attack, it becomes Arm Dragon level 10. 10 or more attack, control of it cannot switch. 100 or more attack, can't be destroyed by battle. And 1000 or more attack, once per turn, once per opponent's turn, quick effect. You can send one card from your hand to the graveyard, then target one other card on the field and destroy it. And if you do, it gains 1,000 attack. And finally, when it has 10,000 attack, Man Jome Thunder, once per turn you can destroy all other cards on the field. That effect is ridiculous, though it is very hard to get off. So um, this deck can pull that off, and it can pull it off relatively easily, but... It is still a, it's, it's a reasonably difficult effect to get off. 10,000 attack, it needs to gain 7,000 attack somehow in order to get that off. But it is still a lot of fun to do it, and you don't really need it because its quick effect is really, really powerful, cause, especially because it's a quick effect. You can destroy a card during your opponent's turn. That is always great for interruptions, getting rid of your opponent's boss monsters. It's a fantastic effect, and that is always available. Um, this is only if you summon it by the effect of an Armed Dragon monster, keep in mind. So you need to summon it with your Armed Dragon Thunder level 7. So that's all for the Armed Dragon Thunder monsters. That's a very simple engine. You just bring out one, and then level it up into the next, level it up into the next. Or level it up into a pile armed or something else. Um, those are your options there. So... Other options to summon, we have Arm Dragon Level 7. One copy of the original Arm Dragon Level 7 can be summoned with the effect of Arm Dragon Thunder Level 5, whose name becomes Arm Dragon Thunder Level 5, uh, sorry, whose name becomes Arm Dragon Level 5 while on the field or graveyard. That's the other thing about the Arm Dragons, is that their names become the original monster's name, so you can still use their effects to summon out the original. So with Level 5, um, you can special summon your Arm Dragon level 7. Level 7 has a very powerful effect that can come in handy um, a lot of the time. If you can pull it off, then, you know, this card can be very, very useful for getting rid of your opponent's monsters. So, once per turn, not even once per turn, so with this card, you can send one monster from your hand to the graveyard to destroy all monsters your opponent controls with attack less than or equal to the sent monster's attack. 
And since we run a lot of powerhouses, basically anything with 2800 or less attack can just be demolished with level 7's effect, which is pretty insane. That just clears your opponent's board. But even better than that is Armed Dragon level 10. One copy of the original. This is Manjome's big boss monster. These two are Manjome's boss monster in the anime in his Armed Dragon deck, and this one is very powerful. You can send one card from your hand to the graveyard to destroy all face-up monsters your opponent controls. Obviously, very easy board wipe. Just get rid of all of your opponent's face-up monsters and then attack for 3,000. You probably game, to be honest, because these monsters are really strong and you'll have multiple of them, so level 10 is very useful to have just to get that insane board wipe that you can't normally pull off with Thunder level 10. Um, this definitely does come in handy a lot, and he can be summoned by tributing Arm Dragon level 7, so that includes the original or Arm Dragon Thunder level 7 while it's on the field with its spec. Alright, next up we have three copies of Pile Armed Dragon. Pile Armed Dragon is actually a very powerful card. You can special summon it by sending one other Wind Dragon monster or one other level 7 or higher Dragon monster from your hand to the graveyard. So that alone is a very very easy summoning condition for this monster. You know, that's basically just any of, that is any of our Dragon monsters and most of our monsters can be sent to summon him from the hand. Um, he can of course also be summoned with the effect of level 5 and level 7. And then his other effect is that once per turn, uh, you can only use each of his effects once per turn, you can send one armed dragon monster from your hand or deck to the graveyard, target one face-up monster you control, and that monster gains attack equal to the level of the monster sent to the graveyard times 300 until the end of the turn. Also, you can only attack with one monster this turn. Keep in mind that last part, you can only attack with one monster per turn, is quite important to remember, but otherwise, this effect is pretty insane. Pile Arm Dragon allows us to send any of our Arm Dragons from the deck to the graveyard, namely Arm Dragon Thunder level 7, whose effect will then go off since it was sent by a, um, since it was sent to the graveyard to activate a Dragon Monster's effect. With Arm Dragon Thunder level 7, you can then add any Arm Dragon card from your deck to your hand. Or with level 5, you can add any Wind Dragon Monster level 5 or higher from your deck to your hand. So this makes it really easy to just get cards to your hand that you need to continue your plays um, or put them in the graveyard to bring them back later with one of our spell cards. This is a very powerful monster, very easy to summon. It's a level 7, 2800 attack and yeah, just getting that easy search like just like that is a really powerful play in this deck. Next up, for the last of our sort of arm dragon engine, we have Artillery Catapult Turtle. This card is fantastic in the Arm Dragon deck. This card is a even better starter than Arm Dragon level 3. With this card, you can tribute this monster to special summon a level 5 dragon monster from your hand or deck. So you can immediately, um, you can summon him, he's a level 4, then tribute him to go straight into Arm Dragon Thunder level 5. The benefit of doing this instead of level 3's effect is that you don't have to ditch a card in your hand. So with level 3, you have to send a monster from your hand to the graveyard to get level 5. So with Artillery Catapult Turtle, you skip that step and get to keep more cards in your hand. Um, especially if you only have one or two monsters left, you won't be able to go the full way with your own dragons. You'd have to stop at like level 5 or 7. So going into that for, with Artillery Catapult Turtle is a much better choice. Um, and it's just a hell of a lot better. So you really want to open with either this card, we've got a lot of starters in this deck. You've got Artillery as your starter, Level 3 as your starter, and of course Arm Dragon Flash, which lets us go into Level 3. So this is a great card, and same with the original Arm Dragons, going into Level 5, like straight off the bat, and skipping Level 3 is a hell of a lot better. Next up for our monsters, we have one copy of Tempest Dragon Ruler of Storms, and this card can um, search any of our dragon monsters from our deck to the hand by discarding it and a wind monster to the graveyard, which is great, but also it is a very easy special summon from the hand or graveyard by banishing two wind or and or dragon type monsters from your hand or graveyard to special summon this card from your hand or graveyard, which is a very powerful effect. It gives us another level 7 to go into our XC plays, and it just summons a big dragon on the field, and that's always great. He is also a level 5 or higher wind dragon monster, so you can add him with the effect of your Arm Dragon Thunder level 5. Finally, for our monsters, we have three copies of Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring, because, you know, why not? 
Alright, before we go into the spells, I would just like to quickly announce once more, we have new merchandise on the store celebrating our Reign of Thunder series, and the series in which I am doing all of Manjome's deck. So if you haven't already, we've done his Hell deck, we've done his VWXYZ deck, next week we're doing White Thunder, then we're going into his VW Arm Dragon friggin' amazing deck after that, and then his manga decks. But on the shop, we have all the sweet new Manjome base merch. Reign of Thunder merch is on the shop. We have five new designs. You can put them on any product. Simply go to the customize option, like simply click on a design you like and pick a product that it goes on or if you don't see the product that you want you can go to the customize option pick any product you want and put any design on it and add your own things you can change the color you can put your name on it if you really want it's really cool so just go ahead and go to the link in the description check out the shop check out these awesome designs to celebrate manjome thank you very much Right, moving on to our spell cards. We have three copies of Armed Dragon Flash. This card is fantastic. Obviously, quick play spell, and it lets us go into our Armed Dragon Thunder level 3, which starts off all of our plays. So, obviously, we need three of this. This, along with, as I said before, Catapult Turtle and level 3 himself, is our starter cards. If you don't have any of these in your hand, it's going to be really hard in this course here, Pile Arm Dragon, that works too. But yeah, those are our main starter cards, um, so definitely want three of those. Next up we have one copy of Arm Dragon Blitz. You only really need one Arm Dragon Blitz, um, because you're going to add him with the effect of level 7 rather than destroying it. Um, so with Arm Dragon Blitz, it lets you target an Arm Dragon monster you control, and then uh, I then take one monster with the same name from your deck or graveyard and either add it to your hand or special summon it, ignoring the summoning conditions. Um, so you can use this card to just double up on any of your monsters, particularly your level 7 monsters, which will allow you to go into your Xyz plays. It can also allow you to summon Arm Dragon level 10 using Thunder level 10, which is a really great playoff um, that allows you to go into your rank 10 Xyz. We have a couple of them, but also allows you to get off Arm Dragon level 10's effect, which is really powerful. Just keep in mind that you won't be able to direct attack with the monsters that you summon. Next up, we have one copy of Armed Dragon Lightning. This card is very good in the deck, and you definitely do need at least one copy. Um, we mainly would this. This will be the main card that we add with the effect of um, Thunder Level Seven. But its effect, if an armed dragon monster you control would be destroyed by a card effect, you can send this card to the graveyard instead. That is the main reason that we want it, it is protection for our armed dragons. But on top of that, um, each turn you can target one armed dragon monster you control and activate one of these effects. Either have it gain 100 attack for times its level, or add one armed dragon monster with an equal or lower level than it from your graveyard to your hand. Both of these effects are great, that gain 1000 attack, uh, sorry, that gain 100 attack times its level effect is particularly good with your armed dragon thunder level 10 to help them get to 10,000 attack. Um, but also the effect to add an armed dragon to your hand is really good for grabbing your pile armed dragon into your hand, or just grabbing your level 3 or any of your armed dragons, which you can then send to the graveyard to level up your armed dragon, which is another great use of the card. Next up we have one copy of Monster Reborn and three copies of Return of the Dragon Lords. These cards are really just for bringing back your level 7s, getting multiple level 7s on the field like I said before, going into our rank 7 XCs plays. That is a very powerful move and mainly going to be our end game is going into the rank 7 XCs. So having many ways to bring out more level 7s is really helpful and these cards are absolutely just mwah, fantastic in this deck. Bringing out your level 7s very easily, you know, sending them to the graveyard, you know, you can send your... Um, level 7 Arm um, Dragon Thunder to the graveyard to bring out level 10 and then bring back your level 7 and then you get, bring out your Power Armed or your Tempest. You should have Tempest because you'll be adding it with level 5 anyway. Um, yeah, these are just all things that you can do and then of course you'll have two level 7s, two XCs plus your level 10 which is really powerful in itself. So having these cards, four of them, really great. You definitely want that. Also, Return of the Dragon Lords has an extra effect. Um, if a dragon monster you control would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead, which is a very, just very handy effect. Next up, we have three copies of Pot of Extravagance. Absolutely, definitely need Extravagance to draw two cards. Uh, it is better than Pot of... I always forget its name, hang on, what's the other... It's, it's better than the other Pot, you know what I'm talking about. Um, because... Um, having to, having the extra card advantage is really good because your armed dragon monsters send cards to the graveyard to level themselves up. 
or just to special summon themselves in the case of Palm Armed Dragon, or to activate any of their effects in the case of the original Armed Dragon, so having extra cards in your hand is better than just searching for one card. We mainly, like, we have nine starter cards in the deck, not including Pile Arms, so, you know, you're probably going to draw one of them anyway if you don't already have it. Um, so, yeah, we really don't need that search, just the draw two is perfect, that is absolutely fine. Next up we have two copies of Dark Ruler No More. This deck is a very, like, fantastic in a going second situation, so having Dark Ruler No More is just a really good option. Um, same case with three copies of Infinite Impermanence, also great for shutting down spells and traps. And finally we have one copy of Arm Dragon Thunderbolt. This card is not needed, but I really like having it um, just to allow us to go into level 10's 10,000 attack effect. This card really helps by giving it 1,000 attack for each arm dragon monster in your graveyard with an equal or lower level than your monster that you're targeting um, and with different names from each other. So yeah, this really helps with getting into our arm dragon thunder level 10, his big 10,000 effect. Uh, but that's really the only reason for it. It's just, it's just for fun. It's just for shits and giggles, let's be real. It's a great card, but it's not that good. <laughs> okay, for our side deck, um, these are just a couple random cards. So these are two cards that Manjoma uses in his original solo, like, pure Arm Dragon deck. He uses level modulation and level up. Uh, he also uses Ojama Yellow. Wouldn't recommend it. I did try adding the Ojama engine into this deck but like with Ocha Match, but it was just too slow and inconsistent. It didn't really work with the deck. The deck was fine enough without it. Um, we will do an Ojama Arm Dragon VW deck later on if you want to see that though. Level Up does, le le Level Up has an issue. It doesn't really work with this deck um, because the, w the way it works is send one face up level monster you control to the graveyard to special summon one monster from your hand or deck that is listed in the sent monsters text, ignoring its summoning conditions. So, you can actually use level up to go from your thunder level 7 into level 7 or your thunder level 10 into the original level 10 but that is all that you can do with it you can't actually use it to go into a like to actually level up your monster um you can also yeah that that's really all you can do is summon the same version of the other one you can't even go level 7 into level 10 because level 7 doesn't mention level 10 you can go level 10 into level 7 though which is kind of awkward you can level down a lot with this but yeah, Level Up doesn't really work with the Arm Dragon Thunder Monsters. It works with the originals, not so much with the um, with the new ones. It does have some weird synergy, but yeah, not really what we want. Um, say Level Modulation just isn't a great card. Your opponent draws two cards, special summon a level monster from your graveyard, ignoring the summoning conditions. Um, monster summoned by this effect cannot attack, nor activate or apply to effect this turn. So, this does have some use. Like I said before, we can bring back our Level 7 Arm Dragons to go into Xyz plays, but we just have better options, and we have enough of them. If you want to include level modulation just to make it a bit more level based, more Manjome like, then feel free. Um, it does work, but yeah, I wouldn't recommend it, we just have better options. Same with level up, it's just it's just not that good. And finally, let's go into the real bread and butter of the deck, the extra deck. So we have one copy of Baron de Fleur, just because we can. We run a lot of level 7s and we have a level 3 tuner, so we can go into our level 10 Baron de Fleur. Powerful card, shouldn't need to explain it. Um, yeah, it's just a good card to have if you want to go into it. <coughs> our main ones that we're going to go into is our, le is our rank 7 Xyz monsters. So we have one copy of Dark Arm, the Dragon of Annihilation. Mainly just wanted to include this card because it is technically like it's part of the Arm Dragon series, you know, it's an Arm Dragon sort of monster, so I thought that would be good. I feel like Manjome would use that. Um, we have one Divine Arsenal AA Zeus Sky Thunder, obviously a great card that we can go into if needed to nuke the field. Um, again, I do feel like Manjome would use that, it is Sky Thunder. So it works, you know, it's a thunder monster, um, but yeah, it's just a good card to have. Number 11, Big Eye, is always fun to have, it's always good to steal your opponent's monsters. Big Eye is a lot of fun and can definitely be a lot, like, really, really helpful. And then one of the uh, duels in the showcase video, I actually would have won if I summoned Big Eye. I won anyway, but I would have won a lot faster if I summoned Big Eye at one point, um, and it just would have gone easier for me. But yeah, so Big Eye, definitely a good option. Same with Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon, great effect, just burn for 500 whenever your opponent does anything. This is particularly good against combo decks for really just like dealing a lot of damage and almost shutting them down in some cases. Uh, we have our level 10 Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon Boost Off Max for the 10, for the 2000 points of damage and Juggernaut Liebe for the OTK. 
Um, you can definitely get two level 10s in this deck, especially with Armed Dragon Blitz. Um, it is definitely, like, it's easy enough to get out your two level 10 monsters, so we have these just in case. I didn't use, end up using them in the showcase, but I have done it before in testing. And then for our final, uh, then for our next rank 7, we have, how the hell do I say that? Volo Funagus is the Darkest Dragon Doom Rider. This card is very manjome. I mean, it's an, it's a dragon, it looks like it's armored, so it's an armed dragon, and, like, Darkest Doom Rider feels very hell-like, you know, with his Chthonian deck, so I feel like this is a very good Manjome-like card, but it is also a very powerful card. Uh, once per turn you can attach two materials, target one face-up monster on the field and destroy it, and if you destroyed a monster, sorry, you target one face-up card on the field, destroy it, if you destroy a monster, you can make one face-up monster you control gain attack equal to the destroyed monster's level slash rank times 300 until the end of the next turn. This card can't take a turn to activate your effect, and this is a quick effect if it has a dragon monster as material, but cannot be activated during the damage step. So, obviously it's going to have a dragon monster as material, so it's always a quick effect, which is really powerful. Again, like I said before, same with Armed Dragon Thunder level 10, destroying monsters in our opponent's turn, or destroying cards in our opponent's turn, is a really good effect, plus the effect to increase a monster's attack also is helpful for Arm Dragon Thunder's 10,000 effect, which I did do in the showcase duel. So this is one of the main monsters that we're going to go into. Our other one is, of course, Heretic Seal of the Heavenly Spears. This card, again, really great for interrupting your opponent. Um, quick effect, you contribute one monster from your hand or field, return one face-up card on the field to the hand. So, of course, if you tribute one of your armed dragon monsters, then its effect will go off. But also, if you tribute itself, um, then if this card is tributed, you can special summon one dragon monster from your hand or deck, but make its attack and defense zero. So that is definitely useful to go into any of our armed dragon monsters and level them up on our next turn. Um, but yeah, it's just a really good card to interrupt our opponent and get rid of any, like, dangerous players that they have going on. Finally, the real powerhouse of the deck. This is our OTK monster. We have three copies of Odd Eyes Rebellion Dragon and three copies of Odd Eyes Rebellion Dragon Overlord. So, Rebellion Dragon, you can go into it with two level 7 dragon monsters, and then with Overlord you can go into it using a Rebellion, um, what is it, a Rebellion, <coughs> and, what is it, and, um, uh, Rebellion Dragon Overlord, you can go into it using a Rebellion Xyz monster you control as material, and if you do, then Overlord can attack three times during each battle phase, and it has 3,000 attacks, so... Yeah, that's our OTK right there. <laughs> 9,000 points of damage, very easy. Our opponent has like one monster on the field as well, still very easy. That's a lot, a lot of damage. Um, yeah, and of course we have a lot of cards that can just nuke our opponent's field and get rid of stuff. So yeah, going into level 10, destroying everything and then bringing out this guy, easy win. Very easy win. And of course it works with Pile Arm Dragon. Of course Pile Arm's effect, if you use it, you can only attack with one monster this turn, but Rebellion Dragon Overlord makes three attacks. There are some, also some plays when these guys get destroyed, you can bring them back, you know, from the extra deck and whatnot, put them in the pendulum zone, blah, blah, blah. You don't really use that often because mainly, like, when we bring this guy out, we win. This is our main win condition, so you won't use that often, but it is an option, so be sure to read that. Um, the reason we have three copies of each of these is because this is our big boy. This is our main win condition, and, of course, we run three copies of Extravagance, so... You don't want to get rid of either of them, you need three of each of them. Um, so yeah, I don't think we need anything else, I think three of them is fine. <laughs> Thank you all so very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Check out that shirt as well, it's pretty cool, it's got my logo on it, it's just, it's just hanging here. You know, you can get this on the shop as well. It's pretty dope. But thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. My name is Ben Sinkara. Manjome Thunder. Leave it in the comments and subscribe for the rest of Manjome's decks coming soon. It's going to be an epic time. We're just getting more and more powerful as we go. Next week we have Manjome White Thunder. This is going to be his White Knight deck with Arm Dragon level 10 White as well, which is really cool. It's a great deck and I'm excited to show it to you guys. Thank you very much for watching, my name is Vincent Gara, and until next time, see ya.